The world of elite speed skating here in South Korea has been rocked by allegations of physical and sexual abuse. This is a country that has won 24 Olympic gold medals, but now the standards, the quality of the coaching is being brought into question. Five women have come forward and raised their voices. We've been speaking to one of them anonymously. I was in my first year at high school, 16 years old. It was at a public space at an ice rink. My coach hugged me and kissed me. He would call me into a separate room, alone, and touch me. He texted me, I love you, and asked me to go to a movie theater or have dinner. It lasted for two years, and then I left the team. What did you think then? What was going through your, your brain? I felt dirty, but I couldn't say no to his face because I thought my life as an athlete would end if I left him or said no to him. The pressure was harsh. I was beaten heavily in elementary school, beaten by badminton rackets or the plastic cover for skate blades. Honestly, sexual harassment is a problem, but violence is a bigger problem. However, in skating, it's a given that you'd be beaten. It would have been considered strange if we had reported it. What do you want to see happen to the man involved? I tried not to blame him, but looking back, I realized I quit skating because of him. He is bad-mouthing me now while continuing his normal life. I want him to suffer as much as I do. It all started last year when medalist Shim Sok Hee came forward. She said she had been beaten by her coach. Now Ms Shim has come forward to say she was sexually abused. And she's not the only one. Stars from the world of judo, from the worlds of tennis and football have all come forward to say they too were physically or sexually abused. Now Seoul in South Korea might look glitzy and dynamic but it remains a patriarchal society. It is difficult for women to question especially men in power but things are beginning to change. The Me Too movement is taking hold. And that is because a brave few women have decided to come forward with their stories. It happened over and over again in Korea. People spoke out. It got swept under the rug and perpetrators acted again. Maybe now is the time for a real change. Maybe we can ensure there won't be any more victims. There might be other women watching who've suffered like you have. What message would you give them? I would like to tell them that we shouldn't think that it is our fault. We should seek help, let others know, and report on it. Don't suffer alone. <laughs>